China, raises and processes millions of rabbits every year. China leads in rabbit production, raising more than 500 million rabbits every year. Globally the rabbit farming industry is heating up with an estimated production of around 2.2 billion rabbits each year. Let's take a look at the process of rabbit farming in China from the initial stage to the processing of the final product. The selection and breeding process plays an important role in ensuring the health and productivity of a rabbit herd. Natural mating is the traditional method and is widely used in rabbit farming, while artificial insemination is superior in terms of quantity and efficiency. The fertilization rate is higher compared to natural methods. Because the semen is directly introduced into the reproductive organs. Flexible application of both methods will produce the highest efficiency for rabbits. Farming caring for baby rabbits from birth to adulthood is a crucial process. Baby rabbits are very small and born weak without fur and with their eyes closed. Baby rabbits are completely dependent on their mother's milk. Highly nutritious rabbit milk provides all the essential nutrients needed for growth and development. To ensure healthy growth and high productivity, it is very important for adult rabbits to provide a balanced nutritious diet and establish a proper feeding pattern. The use of pelleted feed in rabbit farming provides many superior benefits in terms of nutrition, health management and economic efficiency. The pellet feed production process is carried out carefully and scientifically ensuring the supply of high quality and safe products for rabbits. Rabbit vaccination helps prevent common infectious diseases in rabbits, reduces the incidence of disease and improves their health. Each disinfection method, whether using liquids or sterilization by fire, has its own use and effectiveness, contributing to a clean, disease-free living environment for rabbits. A stable environmental temperature in the rabbit cage is very important to maintain the health and productivity of the flock by selecting and checking feed ingredients and carrying out daily and periodic health checks on the rabbits. Potential problems can be detected early and timely adjustments can be made. Regular inspections of rabbit feed and rabbit health help detect potential problems early and allow for timely adjustments. Hundreds of thousands of rabbits are transported to processing factories in each processing factory buying rabbits in large quantities from local breeders for various purposes. The rabbit is hung on a shelf by attaching its hind legs to the hook, so that the rabbit remains in position to facilitate the cleaning process. The rabbit is disemboweled and all its internal organs are removed. Internal organs such as liver, heart and lungs can be kept for processing or sold separately, while other parts are used as waste. The rabbits are put into a rotating drum which is given a mixture of spices and then dried before the product is packaged. Rabbits that have been cleaned are immediately transferred to the storage room to maintain their freshness. And in canned fresh meat products, the machine cuts the rabbit slices into various parts including thighs, backs and smaller parts. Transportation and distribution of fresh rabbit meat throughout the market, helping to expand the customer base thereby increasing business revenues. Every year Chinese people consume up to 300 million rabbits, an impressive figure that reflects the popularity and preference for this type of food. Throughout China's streets, from busy cities to small towns, Rabbit meat is sold and processed into attractive street food dishes every year. 
Chinese people consume up to 300 million rabbits, an impressive figure that reflects the popularity and preference for this type of food. These dishes are not only delicious but also showcase the creativity and high skills of the chefs. So that's how millions of rabbits are raised and processed in China. Thank you for those of you who have watched this video until the end, don't forget to like comment and share, see you in the next video. Here is no place for the faint of heart, this is the realm of the most dangerous creatures on the planet, millions of venomous scorpions hide in the dark. Let's see how scorpions are cultivated in large numbers. This is a female scorpion that is reproducing. They have been separated into separate cups, separating the mother scorpion and her young into separate cups, so breeders can easily monitor the health and development of each scorpion. The offspring carry a pregnancy for several months, and can produce between up to 80 babies. Uniquely, after birth, young scorpions remain attached to their mother's back until they are formed. The mother scorpion will carry her newborn baby on her back. These baby scorpions have a soft exoskeleton and pale color at birth, due to their vulnerability and lack of self-defense, it is important to isolate them to prevent cannibalism. Baby scorpions need to be raised separately so that they are not eaten by the mother scorpion, they need to be separated and raised independently. About one to two weeks after they mold, millions of juvenile scorpions are molting and will be separated into different environments. About 10 days after birth, baby scorpions can descend to the ground and begin fending for themselves, while their mothers continue mating and giving birth. It takes about six months for a baby scorpion to grow and reach maturity. Once they are one to two years old scorpions will start producing poison. Scorpions are cold-blooded animals, so controlling the temperature of their breeding environment is very important. They prefer dry environments and must avoid excessively humid conditions during reproduction to successfully breed these animals. It is very important to understand the reproductive methods and natural behavior based on the variety and quantity of scorpions, one can build a suitable breeding environment. Scorpions have small appetites and prefer to eat small, tender animals such as mealworms, earthworms, fly maggots, and cockroaches. They usually eat once every five to seven days and only consume one worm. Feeding is important to provide enough food so that there is a surplus after eating preventing starvation and cannibalism. When rearing scorpions on a large scale a stable food source is very important and it is also best to breed mealworms. Scorpions are a valuable medicinal organism among 150 patented Chinese medicines, using whole scorpions as ingredients. In recent years, medical research has found that scorpions can also treat impotence and have certain dizziac effects. The economic potential of scorpion venom is significant with the ability to generate billions of dollars annually for treatment. The scorpion farming industry to stimulate the scorpions and induce the secretion of venom, applies an STI load which results in the release of one or two drops of milky white fluid. 
On average, a scorpion will produce around 2 mg of venom per day which is then harvested and stored in a special container. Scorpion venom contains many compounds with significant potential applications in medicine, scientists are studying these compounds to develop treatments for diseases such as chronic pain, cancer, Alzheimer's stroke and other conditions. Scorpions are a popular street food in Thailand, this dish attracts tourists with its venom, unique new taste and the adventurous experience it offers. Tasting crispy fried scorpions is a unique and interesting experience for those who like to explore culinary delights. Scorpions are also prepared in various other dishes, each dish has a unique taste that attracts visitors in its own way. So that's how scorpions are cultivated in large numbers in China. Thank you for those of you who have watched this video until the end, don't forget to like comment and share, see you in the next video.